You ever wondered if those TikTok lawn care hacks actually work? Well, we're about to find out. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, Internet? So I've been driving around the neighborhood, seeing people mowing their lawns, and I'm noticing that they're just stopping and then turning around. and They're just going back and forth and back and forth, just yeah. stopping and turning around. And so I figured I'd share this with you, you know, save Ooh, some time. Busy. Maybe like 10 minutes for every time you mow your lawn. Maybe I got this idea from my Roomba, maybe. Maybe I got this idea from my 3D printer, I don't know. If you want to save a little bit of time mowing your lawn, you can just not stop and then turn around. All right, let's give it a shot. So this one actually kind of makes sense to me. Less stop and go, shorter mow. I think less time I'm stopped, more time I'm mowing, the faster the mow will go. I don't know if it flushes out as we do it. I'm gonna create a baseline right here. I'm gonna mow normally and then compare that to mowing that spiral shape. In my brain, I'm gonna be singing the song Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, you know? Uh, 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 uh. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my so I got the same pace for both the songs. So hopefully I'm walking about the same pace. All right guys, so it took me 23 minutes and 24 seconds to mow the front yard, just standard normally how I mow it. I'm gonna give it a few days, let the grass grow back up so that we have a pretty comparable comparison. I know some people will be like, well, one, the grass wasn't at the same height. So I'm gonna, I know that I cut it three days ago. So I'm gonna give it three more days, let this grow up. And then I'm gonna give that TikTok hack a try. So while that grass is growing, I'm gonna do number two, tip number two. That's the number two I'm doing. I'm gonna try that one out and we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, maybe you could hit that subscribe subscribe button. This gardening hack is so simple and it works perfectly every time. What? What's the tip I hear you ask? Yep. Well, the hair drawn from. And that's because he leaves the back open with this very advanced piece of technology. Because the back's open, it allows all the cut grass. Hold on, safety nightmare. View evenly across the entire lawn. This is really good for enhancing grass growth in bald patches, hence why he calls it the hair transplant. Ow. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. First thought with tip number two is just, why? 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 So I don't know if this is just me, but as an American, let me know in the comment section. Anytime somebody with a British accent or really any accent other than American tells me to do anything, I'm like, hmm, seems legit. They could say, go eat that dog poop in the yard. It has nutrients. It's already been broken down by the dog's stomach. And it's going to be a whole lot easier for you to ingest and get the nutrients for it. But it sounds legit. There's a British accent. I don't know. Something about it like, always seems smarter. I don't know. I, this one seems a little, a little far-fetched for me, but let's give it a shot. So there's a few things like fundamentally I just can't wrap my mind around with this particular hack, but I'm gonna give it a shot. First half of my lawn is gonna be cut like a normal human being on the dividing line right here. On the other side, I'm going to cut it like that guy told me to. So let's see. And side note, who's smarter? Cause we won the Revolutionary War, so we're one and oh. So who's actually smarter? All right, so I got the first half cut normally. I've just mulched it. I'm gonna use this wand right here to prop open the flap on the back and just see if this hack works. All right, let's all say a prayer too, so that I maybe don't run over a rock or a stick that hurls something at hundreds of miles per hour right at my shin. I don't know. Ooh, yeesh. Yikes. Yeesh. Yeesh. It's a daggum mess. I mean, that one just ticked me off. I don't know if you can tell, but there's grass clippings everywhere. And cool thing is my dog uses this as a bathroom too. So it was throwing it all over me. I mean, look at me. 
I'm a mess. Hair transplant my dang butt, dude. You should tell your dad this is the dumbest idea he's ever come up with. Incredibly unsafe because I was getting like, even grass getting thrown up in my eyes was hurting. And then I just ran over a couple sticks too. Those were fun to the shins. Y'all's prayers didn't work, I guess. So that one's a hard no for me. On to the next one. Trying the viral grass pack. Water. Add toilet paper. Okay. Wonder if he should mix. Pour into dead patches. Few. Few. What? Three days later. No. I've been grass around grass a long time. I've never seen grass grow like that in three days, but let's find out. The logic there is sound because I think the toilet paper might hold on to moisture and then perhaps make it germinate a little bit quicker, but three days. All right guys, so like I said, I like the logic on this one. I'm gonna follow exactly what this video said, see what happens in three days and what happens in five days. And I'll remember to mix, mix, mix. All right, I got it good and mixed up now. I'm going to spread it out, follow the exact directions. I know a couple places where I wanna try this out, give it a couple different conditions. We'll see. All right, let's give it about three days and hopefully that green dye will have washed off my hands by then. Yep, no signs of life there. Should have known. I'll check the other spot. I would have been surprised if anything germinated with toilet paper and water in about three days, but keep an eye on it. Maybe it'll germinate in five, we'll see. Ooh, I've been wanting to try one of these with the zip ties instead of weed eater string. Can't be better than grass kicker weed eater string. All right, I've been wanting to try that one for a while, so let's do it. So this is one that I've been wanting to try out for a while. I've seen it on social media a lot. Got a couple zip ties, gonna throw it on the end, see how it works. Well, that was fun, but incredibly short-lived. I think honestly the indentions on the zip ties compromised the structure, like the, the strength of it uh, when it's spinning around that fast. How do I know all this about weed eater string and strength and things like that? That's because I created the world's greatest weed eater string. It's called Grass Kicker. We tested out dozens of different types of weed eater strings and arrived on the ultimate weed eater string that gave you maximum visibility, maximum durability, and maximum cut efficiency. It took like forever. If you want to check out that process, I put a link right up here. You can follow along, watch us test it completely. And before we move on to the next video, it'd be super cool if you hit the subscribe button, maybe even hit the like button. And I don't know, if you feel crazy, share it with somebody who you feel like might be interested in this too. All right guys, it's been three days and a shave since I cut it, you know, with that standard pattern like I normally do. I'm gonna hit it with that spiral and see if it's any faster. Remember, oh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. That's the pace we're trying to keep at because it's gotta be fair, you know? And remember the time to beat is 23 minutes and 24 seconds. It took just under 19 minutes. Hope you can see that. I feel like I'm gonna puke because I'm so dizzy and I think my neighbors might think I'm trying to communicate with aliens because it looks like a whole bunch of crop circles or something. It cut off about five minutes or I guess 20% of the mow time, which is pretty substantial. Compounded year after year. If you So if you do this every single time, you're saving hours in your life. So I guess that one works. <laughs> I'm in the season where you either got to be for me or against me. And I don't really know which side you're going to choose, but this on the bubble thing where we kind of friends, so we not here. friends, where you can talk about me and not treat me well, and I just learned how to recover. No, I can't do that. That's not for me no more. I changed my mind. See, that's what's dangerous about asking God to change your mind is it starts kicking up dust in your life. Because no. So she's engaged the blade, tied it down. When I was drunk and high and out of my mind, you preferred me. When I was 
just take anything. I got better and finished the yard. Cheat on me what? And say you gonna borrow money and never give it back. You like this background? Money. Whatever's in the background is stressing me out. When I started setting up boundaries, all of a sudden, just as much as this video from well, more. You. I'm glad it's over because I'm not gonna shrink to make you more comfortable. Ooh, no, not even gonna try it. Don't. That's all. Don't. That's what I'm gonna say. So I guess we can all maybe agree that we don't go to TikTok <laughs> for our lawn care advice. They don't have a great average there. But if you do want clear, concise, and honest product reviews and DIY guides, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every Sunday. And if you thought this video was fun and interesting, you might find this video fun and interesting as well. Until next time, keep cutting. Peace.